What's going on guys, this is John with DC. Welcome back to my channel and to new viewers out there. As always, welcome. Guys, I am bringing back the brand versus brand series. I know how much these videos have been helping you guys out when it comes to shopping and picking up these set pieces. And just the feedback that I've been getting from you guys about these videos, I just knew I needed to be making more. Uh, so if you haven't seen the thumbnail, the title, or the description of today's video, there's been nothing more popular than mesh shorts for the summer. And you know, the summer's rounding off now, but it is still going pretty hot. And one of the bigger names to do these mesh shorts is Eric Emanuel. And I know a lot of you guys have probably heard about it or you guys own some. I know I own some myself and I've been rocking mine pretty heavily on Instagram as you guys see. So I wanted to put the Eric Emanuel mesh shorts up against Inaka Power's mesh shorts. Now, if you guys don't know Inaka Power, um, it is a brand started by Charlie Coker. He is a YouTube, uh, he's in the fitness industry uh, and this is his clothing brand. and. He's been making these mesh shorts and I see a lot of people comparing these to how, how much they look alike. So I wanted to put them up against each other in the categories that I use. Uh, having tried both of them out for quite some time now, I think I'm at a good spot to kind of give you guys my opinion. And at the end, of course, I give you guys which one I think you guys should go with. But again, at the end of the day, it is your personal choice. So, but before we dive into the actual comparison, if you guys could take a quick second, scroll down and smash that like button, I would truly, truly appreciate it appreciate it and you guys know how much that helps this channel grow so um, every one of you guys do that again I appreciate you guys I love you guys uh, but without further ado oh before that I almost forgot if you guys wanted to follow me on Instagram I am over there at MTC MVMT like I mentioned I show you guys my recent pickups and a lot of outfit pictures so if you guys are interested or into any of that make sure you guys follow me over there but without further ado Let's dive into the comparison. So if you guys have ever watched my previous brand versus brand videos, you guys will know that I break it down into three different categories. First one being fit and measurement, second one being price, and the third one is quality slash durability. Now, when it comes to fit and measurements, there's not much to be said because they are very similar to each other. They're both listed at about five and a half inch inseam, which I think is a little bit more accurate to say that they fall around that six, six and a half inch inseam. Now, it might not be a big deal to a lot of you guys, but for people who are on the shorter side, like myself, it kind of matters where the shorts fall and just the way it fits me and the way it falls on me, I think it's a little bit more accurate to say they fall around the six. Now, if anything, I think the Inaka Power shorts are falling a little bit closer to that five and a half inch inseam as I find it to be slightly shorter than the Eric Emanuel's. Like, it's very slight. Like, you won't notice the difference if you're not paying attention to it, but I just thought I'd mention it. Now, also when it comes to leg space, I think the Inaka Power shorts are a little bit more generous than the Eric Emanuel's, but we also got to keep in mind who these shorts are designed for. Like I said, Charlie Coker is in the fitness industry, so he's designing these shorts for people who are in the gym and working out so I think that extra bit of leg space in the shorts is just to compensate for people who have bigger quads uh, so if you are an individual with a uh, like an athletic lower body build, I think the Inaka Power shorts might be a better fit for you. But again, they're mesh shorts, so they're not gonna be super tight to begin with. You see a lot of pro athletes wearing the Eric Emanuel shorts without a problem. But like I said, the differences between these shorts when it comes to fit and measurements, very, very minimal. You won't even notice it. So moving into our second category, which is where we'll probably see a bigger difference between the two shorts, and that's the price. When it comes to the Inaka Power shorts, you're looking at about $64, and with shipping, depending on where you are, you're looking at about 70 to 75 dollars for these shorts now i know when you spend over 150 dollars on the anaka power website they do offer free shipping so if you do get probably like three pair of shorts at the same time you're looking to get them at the 64 dollars price point now when it comes to the eric Emanuel shorts they are coming in at a hefty price tag of 98 dollars and with shipping you're paying 108 for these shorts and when it comes to like special design or pattern shorts for eric Emanuel, they do charge 108 retail for the shorts and with shipping you're looking at about 118 dollars so these are pretty hefty prices to pay for mesh shorts in my opinion so please don't ever feel like you have to go out and buy these shorts if you're not financially able to uh, there are a lot of cheaper alternatives when it comes to mesh shorts um, you, it's not just limited to these two but for the purpose of today's video and comparing these two obviously Inaka power is a more budget-friendly option so it definitely takes this category now 
one thing I like about Inaka Power is the, their pattern shorts. They keep it the flat rate of $64 when Eric Emanuel changes it. If they're coming out with like a plain color, plain design, it is 98 retail, but if they come out with a pattern or a special design, they charge 108. So I don't like that about Eric Emanuel. So Inaka Power definitely takes this category when it comes to price. But getting into our third category, which is quality and the durability of these shorts. Now, I'm not worried at all about the durability of these shorts just because they are mesh. That material, because of its simple build, it's meant to last forever. If you guys have meshed pennies or jerseys, it lasts through the wash pretty well, and they're not going to get destroyed in it, which is a very good thing. Now, when it comes to the quality of these two shorts, I see two big differences. One being the screen printing. They both screen print their logos around the same area on the shorts, and I got to say, the screen printing on the Eric Emanuel seems to be a little bit of a higher quality than the Inaka Power screen printing. I can just see from just doing an eye test. I'm not. I don't know this for sure. I can see the Inaka Power logo kind of tearing and ripping um, in the wash over time, but I, I haven't had these shorts long enough to say that for sure. So that's something I can definitely keep you guys updated down the road on my Instagram. If you guys are following me over there. But right off the bat, just like doing an eye test, um, Eric Emanuel's screen printing just seems a little bit of a higher quality. Not a huge difference though. And the second difference that I'm noticing between these two shorts are the little diamond holes in the mesh. Now, if you guys know, anything that comes meshed, it has those little holes that you can see through. And the holes on the Eric Emanuel shorts definitely is noticeably smaller than the ones on Inaka Power. Um, and I thought that was an important thing to mention just because when it is smaller, you can't see through them as much. And the outline of the pockets or the the color lining for the pockets doesn't disrupt the color of the shorts. So Eric Emanuel definitely does a good job of that. Um, and Aka Power, just being on slightly bigger side, you can see the outline of the pocket sometimes, but mesh shorts are gonna be see-through regardless. So to me, it doesn't really matter, but to some of you guys, it might. So I did definitely wanna point that out. So those two differences could potentially be what justifies the differences in price of these two shorts, the screen printing or the quality of the mesh, if there is such a thing as a higher quality when it comes to the mesh material. But you just have to be the judge of that for yourself. Do you wanna sacrifice the quality just a little bit to pay a lighter, uh, price tag or do you want the quality to be there and you don't mind paying that 108 118 price tag so you make that decision for yourself but i those two are definitely the uh, differences that i'm seeing between these two shorts now before we dive into my final verdict and my personal recommendation which one i think you guys should go with i want to quickly touch on design a little bit i know design is usually not a category in these videos but when it comes to these mesh shorts i think it's an important category to touch on and the reason is this because eric emmanuel does a lot of solid color shorts so you're usually able to find color scheme or colors that work in your wardrobe but when it comes to Inaka Power yes they do solid color shorts but not nearly as much as Eric Emanuel. Inaka Power focuses a lot on pattern and different designs louder designs so when it comes to Inaka Power you're getting more of like a louder uh, more of a decorative shorts than Eric Emanuel. So depending on your taste, you might go with one or the other, but I just wanted to touch on that really quickly because it's an important thing to know. And now the moment you guys are all waiting for, the final verdict, my personal recommendation on which one of these two shorts I think you guys should go with. And honestly speaking, I had an idea of what I wanted to say or what I, which one I wanted to choose in the beginning of today's video and before I filmed this. But after discussing everything that we've talked about in today's video, I actually changed my mind. And I think that's, what's awesome about these videos you know there's two brands that go up against each other and you might prefer one over the other but watching the video breaking it down might change your mind and you might prefer an aspect of one brand over the other and that's the beautiful thing about this and that's why i love making these videos so much but i would have to go with the shorts from anaka power now that might come off as a surprise to you guys but it's just really hard for me to justify the 108 118 dollar price point of the eric emmanuel shorts and i know we talked about the screen printing and the quality of the mesh, but even that doesn't justify the heavy price tag that the Eric Emanuel one carries. And now, does this mean I'm gonna stop buying from Eric Emanuel? Probably not. If they come out with a color that I like or design that I like, I'm most likely going to pick it up. But for most of us, I think Anaka Power does suffice. You know, they offer high quality mesh shorts that work just fine. And like I said, it's mesh, so it's gonna hold up for a very long time uh, for a lower price tag. And I think 
I think that itself just says a lot about these two shorts. And so I would personally go with Inaka Power. Now, the only thing is some of you guys might be worrying about what people are gonna think because Inaka Power rips off the design of Eric Emanuel. I mean, sure, if that's the case, by all means, go with the Eric Emanuel shorts, but I would personally recommend stop caring about what people think uh, when it comes to what you're wearing and your fashion and your style. So Inaka Power is gonna be it for me, and that's my final verdict for today's video. And that is going to be it for today's video you guys i really hope you enjoyed it and found it informative and if you guys did always always let me know by clicking that like button down below you guys know how far that goes in getting this video out to more people in an effort to grow this community and while you're down there leave a comment down below as well what are your thoughts between these two shorts do you prefer one over the other have you not tried one of them like what are your thoughts after watching this breakdown i really want to know i'm curious let's get connected and let's converse about it and guys if you haven't subscribed to this channel just yet make sure you guys do so a lot more content comes coming up very, very soon. So you don't wanna miss it and click on that notification bell so you guys get notified every time I drop a new video. But with all that said, if you guys watch this video all the way to the last bit, love each and every single one of you and, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.